hello guys welcome to another apache guacamole video and today i'll be showing you guys how to use fail to ban to protect your apache guacamole from several security threats such as dictionary attacks dos or ddos or even brute force attacks today in this video we'll be using the fail to ban application with something such as um, untangled firewall for linux or ufw and i'll also show you guys how you can do this if you are using cloudflare reverse proxy so without wasting any much time we're going to head straight into the video and i am going to head on and open my command line and we'll run some commands which include installing fail to ban and will configure fail to ban. First thing you want to do here is log into your Apache Guacamole as root or any user that you use to log in using SSH. Once you're done, the first thing you want to do is run the command sudo apt install fail to ban. And once you run this command, as you can see, I already have fail to ban installed. But for you, if you run this command and you don't have fail to ban installed, it is going to go ahead and install fail to ban. So once that's complete, the next thing we're going to do is start creating some configuration files for fail to ban. In this case, we have to create two separate files. So we'll start by creating a file in the Etsy fail to ban jld called the guacamole dash auth dot com file so i'm going to paste the command here as you can see we're going to use nano and create the file guacamole dash auth dot com and once you create this file you want to make sure you add the text that i have shown in the screen so i'm going to have a documentation with all the commands and all the text that you have to input in these files that we're creating below in the description section so once you paste this in here i'm just going to go ahead and explain to you what this first file does in this case we are starting with cloudflare and once we get done with cloudflare i'm going to show you the same thing if you are using ufw so the next option here, we are specifying the guacamole dash auth, which is going to be our filter or our filter's name. And we have the enabled set to true. We have the log path. Notice I have the log path set to Tomcat. This is because Apache guacamole stores its authentication logs by default in the Tomcat logs. So for you guys out there as of today, this path should be the same. So you don't have to change anything. Just put the path as it is and let it be. And for the path, I have HTTP and HTTPS. If your Apache Guacamole is only accessible using HTTPS, you might want to just remove the HTTP, but I can access my Apache Guacamole using HTTP or HTTPS. So pick one and or you can just let HTTPS and HTTP be by default. The next option here is the ban time. I have that set for one day, but you can change this however much you want. You can do one minute and you can even do one 30 days, two days, one week, depending on how you want um, your Apache guacamole or um fail to ban how long you want it to ban these ip addresses so remember if you're using days it is one d so the day number and then d if you're using minutes it is m and if you're using hours it is h uh, the next thing we have here is max try which is equals to three so every time a user with a specific ip tries to authenticate three times they're going to get blocked after the three tries you can increase this or you can decrease it. You can have it to 1, you can put it to 10, however fits your environment. So once you have that, you want to save that file. The next file you want to create is the file in the Etsy fail to ban filterd directory. And you want to also call this file guacamole auth.conf. So once you do that, here is where we define the regex um command that is going to be able to find 
our log file so if you know how to use regex you're going to see that this regex here is going to match the user's ip address or the host name or the host which is can be the ip which will be the ip address in the tomcat logs you really don't have to change this because apache guacamole login is the same for everyone so once you save the file, the next thing you want to do since we're using Cloudflare is you want to head over to your browser and head over to Cloudflare. So once you open up your Cloudflare, you want to log into your Cloudflare account. And once you're logged into your Cloudflare account, you want to go below on the right hand side where it says get your API token and you want to select that option. And once you select that option, below you're going to see the option for your global API key. You want to select the view option. It is going to ask you for your password. Once you enter your password, the API key is going to be displayed. So you want to copy that API key and then we're going to head back over to the command line. And the next thing we want to do is open up the file in the etsy-fail-to-ban-action.d um, it's called cloudflare.conf so once you open this file you don't have to make any changes in here the only changes you need to make is at the all the way at the um the bottom of the page you're going to see an option like i have here that says cf token and cf user you want to replace the CF user with your Cloudflare email address and you want to replace the token with your Cloudflare global API key. Okay. And once you have that done, you save it. And if we, once you have that saved, what you want to do is run the command system CTL and you want to restart fail to ban and once you restart fail to ban if you want to check and make sure that there aren't any errors in the files you've created and the configuration we've made you can run the system ctl status fail to ban if you don't see any errors and the service is active it means you're good to go so in this case i'm going to head back to the browser so actually before i do that we're going to open up we're going to go back to our command line and open up our log file for fail to ban just to make sure that the IP addresses that we want are actually getting banned if they try to authenticate over three times and it fails. So now that we have that um, log file open, you can see that our jail guacamole auth was successfully started. So if we head back here and let's say I just put the random username, test user, and we try to log in one, two, three, it fails. If we head back to our command line, we can see here that after the three failed authentication logon, it bans the IP address. Okay. So now that we know that that is successfully working here. We're going to head over to our Cloudflare firewall rules to make sure that it is actually getting banned on Cloudflare. So now if we come over to Cloudflare, so you want to go to your web application firewall rules and you want to head over to tools. You're going to see here that fail to ban guacamole dash auth blocked the IP address, which is my IP address, my external IP address. And I have that blurred out um for security reasons but we have that ip address blocked by fail to ban so now that we've confirmed that it is blocked if we head back over to our apache guacamole if i refresh this page you can see i get an access denied page that tells me that the owner of the website has banned my ip address that means our fail to ban is successfully working as expected so if we head back to the command line and for us to further test this and make sure that fail to ban is going to ultimately at some point unban that IP address, you're going to run the command fail to ban dash client 
space unban space dash dash all. So in my case, I want to unban all the IP addresses that were banned. If you wanted to specify a specific IP address, you're going to remove the all and uh, type the IP address. So now that we have that unbanned, if we head back to the browser and give it a couple of seconds, and if we refresh this page, you can see now that we are able to access our Apache Guacamole login screen again. So now that we're done configuring the Cloudflare portion, for those of you who use Cloudflare as your reverse proxy or as your um, firewall, we can now talk about using UFW, Untangled Firewall. So for those of you who use UFW, everything stays the same. The only difference that you're gonna wanna um, do here or the only thing you wanna do differently so you want to first head over to the etsy dash fail to ban dash jail dot d dash guacamole dash auth dot com file we created in your case you're going to replace this cloudflare option with ufw and once you do that you're going to save that option once we do that if we go ahead and restart fail to ban if we head back to our guacamole and if we try to log in um, three times if we go back to the logs here, you can see that my IP address was blocked again. So if we run the command now, sudo ufw status, you can see in here that at all the way at the top, there is a new rule added to deny from my IP address uh, to anywhere. So accessing any port 443, 2022 any single path um, fail to ban has completely blocked that IP address from accessing our Apache guacamole so this brings us to the end of this video I hope this video helps you to be able to configure fail to ban to protect your Apache guacamole server um, either by using Cloudflare or UF w on linux if you like this video please hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel